Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so, uh, a little update for you. Firstly, Storm Claudio. Wow, what did I say? So I live down in the Sussex coast and we had 70 mile an hour winds down here. Yeah, a um, bit of damage when I've walked to the plot this morning. So let's show you what the damage is. It's not much to be honest. I'm a bit, just a bit annoyed with it because it's my own fault. I left this window open and I forgot about it. And what's happened is obviously the wind's blown through and just blown the other side of the greenhouse out. <laughs> Yay! Um, so yes, that's that's my problem for today. So I'm just going to patch that up today. That's given me an extra job to do. Um, and the grass is a little bit long, so I'm going to trim that. Um, and on the subject of greenhouses, obviously the clocks have gone back. So it's really dark now when I get here after work just to sort of pot around and do some watering. Um, so I'm actually going to put some lighting in the greenhouse today and just light it up. So when I come in after work and just pull the light bulbs and um, yeah, I've got light. They're battery powered and I've also got rechargeable ones. So I've got two, two different types uh, for both greenhouses. So I'm going to put one lot in today and then I'm still waiting for the others to arrive. So that'll be a, another job to do so right but let's have a look um so firstly the greenhouse so my so firstly the greenhouse so this was the window that left open so top tip if you know you're getting uh windy weather don't leave your window open so if i spin around here the the whole the whole lot's blown out both panes so yeah coming around um not a lot of damage um there are some obviously if you can see over here over the back here um his whole greenhouse has gone uh, which is a real shame real shame and if i show you around here i don't know if you can see in the distance here just over here so that's someone's polytunnel now i actually feel quite sorry for him because his polytunnel is new um he had a greenhouse last year and when we got hit by storm unis it got demolished and he bought the polytunnel and now well i feel for him really do but so i actually repaired my um compost heap bin bit but you can see uh, <laughs> it's not repaired anymore so that's great um looking over at the back there actually i can see someone's shed door um that's come off it must have really hammered down here, really hammered down here. But, you know, a bit of pain. My water butt, the lid's obviously blown off. And not sure where the ends of that's gone. But here we go. That can go in there. Might actually get a clip and um, clip that back on. Might actually get a clip and clip that back on, actually. Just so it doesn't blow out again. But yeah, hopefully. Oh, look. Caught some water anyway. That's good. Um, this I need to weed over. This is a no dig bit. Um, and it's going to be, I've decided um, what to do with this this area finally because it's something I've never really decided what to do with I'm actually going to take the raspberries out and I'm going to dedicate a bed to them rather than them being like you see at the back here quite wild so I'm actually going to do three beds coming off this bit here um, all no dig beds and do three beds going back so you can see one two three um, this one obviously being a smaller one and then going back there I have the wood for it just got to do it so right so come around here other than that the greenhouse look it's, it's um it's all right but yes so we've got the remnants look remnants of the glass oh that probably wasn't a good idea um but yeah i mean other than that have a look around, it's not really done bad. Not really done bad at all. So, 
yeah not bad so i'm actually just going to pick some um the grass up and just trim the grass now and just do those little jobs that need doing um and just have a tidy up after it but as you can see it's it's not it's not as bad as some so got off lightly i think uh patch it up today and then i'll show you around and see what's growing so i've done the trimming of the grass that's that job done um yeah so and i've actually just had a shift around in the greenhouse so let me show you what I've done. So I noticed, so I noticed when I had my potting table over here, the sun is coming over here. So basically what it's doing is shading it. Um, so I've just moved my potting table towards the back. So you can see uh, I've actually got a bit more, a bit more room, which is good. So yeah, quite pleased with that. That should be all right and i've put i've actually put and i put temporary my compost heap back together and retrieved my lid to stop it blowing away again so showing you around the greenhouse i've i you know I, I need to get my chilies out um so i'm actually going to do that now i'm just going to harvest the chilies that are left um because what with the glass being blown out now um they're not going to not going to do much else so i'm just going to pick the rest of them um and yeah pop up the other plot and put some lighting in Another hole in the greenhouse window. That would be good. I think I'm determined to <laughs> make more window breakage. Let's break another window, shall we? Let's see what we can do. Emma. That's not a good idea. I haven't got scissors, so I'm just collapsing this. The whole actually came handy. <laughs> there we go. Right, get rid of these for a minute. I mean these so these are supposed so these are supposed to be armageddon chilies hmm. there. Into them. Uh, these are supposed to be armageddon chilies oh, does it actually look just drop them all they don't oh, they don't actually look like armageddon so i think i've got my uh my chilies muddled So if you know what they are, but they look like that. So if you do know what they are, let me know. They, um, I thought they were Armageddon. They might be Padron. But I thought they were Armageddon. Quite a few on here, actually. That's just, um, nice to see i'm just gonna literally um cut the good ones off yep and that's the last of the good one perfect 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 uh, that's the this cake as well
rest of the bone that is. Take them home. Alrighty. I grew a lot of the baby boos for Halloween and I haven't been very well um, so I haven't been down here and I haven't got the baby boos and I'm so good because they're getting little tea lights but yeah I wasn't very well and I didn't come down so hence why I left the window open so I'm really annoyed about that really annoyed but what can you do just while I'm doing this one of the things you can do is overwinter your chilies. So you can cut the leaves right back, cut them back to the stalks, and you can actually overwinter these to get a, a good crop next year. Um, now I've actually tried it, and it didn't actually work for me. Right, well, I think you'll agree, other than a little bit of weeding that needs to be done, that's a lot more room. And I like the fact that I've got the pots down the side now. Shows that I've got, you know, a lot more room. And I can work out what I want to grow for next year, so I know exactly how many pots I'm going to have. And then I can do my little, um, at the back here, I'm going to have some seeds stands so when these pots aren't being used the seed stands are up so then i can take them down that is the plan so right well that's the chilies cut back that i actually wanted to do down here uh the wasp so cold yet there's a wasp in there. Right, I'm getting out. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do today. Done. Well, it's not actually because I need to pop up the other greenhouse and inspect all the damage there um, and see what's happened up there. But I've tidied up down here, which is a start, which is good. Um, and I cleared out the greenhouse, which is another job that I needed to do, so it's all good. It's still really windy here, so I'm not actually going to stay too long here today. Um, I'm just literally going to do those little bits, get those chilies home. Job done. What I am going to do before I go is harvest some Pak Choi. Sarah and I at uh, She Sows, She Grows. I'll put a link to her channel um, in the description. But we were saying and having a chat around Pat Choi and that it always bolts and gets eaten by slugs. Well, Sarah, <laughs> look, <laughs> it does happen even in the greenhouse. But I think I found the culprit today. So I'm just going to pull these little munch leaves off. No one there. And possibly see with that one and that one, and I'm left with that. So there you go. It does happen in the greenhouse as well. However, I think I found the culprit, so even better. Those little bits done. Um, I'm actually am now going to pop up to the other plot and see what's see what's happened. That is a real wind sight up there. So if we've had damage down here, I'm dreading going. I might put you on a little film walk on, we'll see. Right, so I'm back at the second plot and there's no damage, but you can hear, the. I'm in the greenhouse now, you can hear the wind just beating down 
it's still quite horrible here um so yeah no there's no damage to this one which is good very good so i'm literally just gonna check that i have got that spare glass in the shed here that's going to fit the greenhouse um but i've just realized i can't put the lighting in annoyingly because the hooks i've left down at the other greenhouse <laughs> so i can't put them in um which is a bummer because i really wanted to put the lighting in but it's fine i you know when i come down um i can i can do it but I just really wanted to do it now, so. But yeah, there's no damage here. That's still include Claudio. Um, he's left this one alone, so. Uh, it's off. Hear it. Not nice. So yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check everything was alright really um, and pop up here. I was going to put my lighting in the side but I've, I've left the, the hooks down at the other plot so I can't do that now. Um, so yeah, um, just going to bid you farewell for this week. Um, as always, um, thanks for watching guys. Um, sorry it's a short one today but uh, catch you again later. Take care, bye.